Hey guys, welcome back to Mummy Cooks Homemade. My name's Hayley and this is the last of the slow cooker recipes. So there's two recipes today. This one is the Chinese chicken and I've got rice and seasoned seaweed flakes on mine. So into the slow cooker. All I'm putting in is four boned thighs. You can use skin on thighs, but remember to, um, what do you call it? <laughs> Uh, la, 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 la. Brown them in a pan. Right, so that's chopped up chorizo pepperami. Use regular chorizo if you so wish. That is tomato ketchup. Soy sauce. Yes, I will put all the measurements after the video in the description. That's honey, set honey. Don't matter which honey you use, whatever you like. And this is a cook on high for two hours. So I've got five cloves of garlic. I've got some sriracha seasoning. You can use the liquid or the powder. Then I've got ginger and five spice. And I've also prepared a seasoning bag. I do do my own seasoning bags. If, again, that's, that'll be a short video. But if you would like to see how I do the seasoning bags, or my tea bags as I call them, then uh, just let me know in the comments if anyone's interested at all in that. So I'm just going to crush these in. Everything goes in. So this has been... The reason the garlic looks like that is because I get it in a kilo bag, peeled. And I've put it straight in the freezer, so when you take it out and defrost it, it looks like that, that colour. A bit harder to crush as well, but it's worth it to not have to do it myself. Peel it, I mean. In the bag, I've got um, some black peppercorns, because I don't want to eat those. And two star anise, which are awful when you put them in your mouth after you've been cooking them. And you forget to take them out, which I do. And it's literally as easy as that. Nothing hard, nothing over exciting. <laughs> That's it. You will get some uh, water released from the thighs. I'm just putting some of the soy sauce because it's all in one place over the other side. So I've mixed it up, tea bags in, and as I said, two hours on high and it's cooked, or maybe three to four hours on low. So I'm going to have a, a nosy. Look at that, looks thick and right up. Yum, yum. This was what I posted last night, guys. So this is the one I posted last night. So that was me checking. So all I'm going to use is the microwave rice for this, which makes this dish even easier. So there was nothing else to go into that slow cooker. That could not get any easier. There's a slight heat because I used the chorizo as well as the um, sriracha, but nothing I couldn't handle. You know, I'm a wimp. So, so yeah, I'm just going to plate up. Steve loved this one. Absolutely loved it. So, yeah. There you go. Still bubbling away, look. That's fish out some chicken. As you can see, I only put four of the boneless thighs in. And they're not massive, are they? But it was more than enough. Even for us pigs, me and Steve. <laughs> and you can see it's created its sauce down at the bottom. Trying to find my tea bag. This was nice. I had some seasoned sea seaweed flakes on mine. Um, I had a look last night for Fiona because she asked about them. 
that's Fiona in the kitchen if anybody's wondering um, and they are doubled in price from when I bought mine so are they nice yes would I buy them at this price probably not I think there was something like 7 99 something like that so no it's it's uh, ridiculous the prices now so yeah I would highly recommend this recipe guys for anybody that loves chicken I mean look Sprinkle on some sesame seeds. My plate's next to it with the lava. Oh, seaweed, whatever. There, I just mixed it in with the rice. And we had um, some shop-bought prawn crackers. It was as easy as that. And it was very nice too. So, this one, this was nice. Out of the two other one was better but still nice so Steve was really not impressed that I didn't use a liner <laughs> oh well done now what can I say so I'm putting in garlic oil you know I always use garlic oil not 100% Steve was it this one? Oh, they had defrosted because Steve got them from the shop. Yeah. So put as many as you want into the bottom of the pan. And I'm going to put four cloves of garlic in you're gonna watch me struggle now because they're frozen still <laughs> I hope Steve sped this bit up can't do it can't do it <laughs> oh no you're not gonna watch me suffer surely I think it's left him <laughs> And he went through each one. Thank you, Steve. I'll get there eventually. Four cloves, guys. So I'm just chucking in some mushrooms. I used about 250 grams. I did eventually get fed up of cutting them and just pulled them apart like I normally do. Don't know why I cut them anyway. So these are two shallots. I would use probably half an onion, full, if you're going to use a full size onion. So yeah, if you're going to use a regular onion, then I would use half an onion. That was the dog sneezing. So I've got some little Chantonade carrots that were left from Sunday. So I threw them in. Quick, Anna. <laughs> and then I've got some baby potatoes. I did put too many potatoes in this. So yeah, just be aware of how many you're throwing in. Good stir. Now what doesn't get shown on here, and I've, I'll have to remember to tell you, is um, a stock cube. A crumbled up stock cube, chicken stock cube went into this. So we've got parsley. Not very often I measure, you know this guys. But I will put what I think it is down in the recipe underneath. Some thyme. A 
some SMP. Like I say, for some reason, you didn't get shown the crumbled up stock cube. You do get a lot of, don't be tempted to add water into this because you will get water out of all them vegetables and the juices from the chicken. And I pop that on. This I cooked for four hours on high or it would be eight hours on low. So just coming in to check. You can just see if you look at in the base of the pan that it's now starting to make its own own juices. So I'm going to add in probably a couple of tablespoons of butter. Maybe a bit more. <laughs> so give that a mix through. And then pop that lid on again in a minute. So at this point now I'm going to throw in some parmesan. It is parmesan chicken. Slow cooker style. <laughs> I'm going to leave this to carry on cooking. <laughs> Try not to touch the chicken too much because we all know when chicken goes in, it's uh, it does tend to get so tender it falls to bits. So I'm coming up on the end part of this. So now what I'm doing is I put some tender stem in. Tender stem doesn't take long to cook. And then once that was half cooked, I put more Parmesan on top. Pop the lid back on just to melt down the Parmesan and then served it. On this day, I was uh, particularly hungry. So I did have some uh, bread on the side with this. And that was the final product. Product, listen to me. So I thought I'd finish with two chicken ones because I have a certain subscriber whose husband is very fussy. So these are for her to try on him. Just adapt them to what you like. So yeah, that's the end of the slow cooker series for this year. I'm quite happy to come back after Christmas and do another one if that's what you want. But I've now got the bread one to put out before the 12 days of Christmas start so thank you so much for watching guys I'll put the recipes in the description box and I hope you give them a try and I will see you in the next one bye